Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi I'm Semantics. Today we have a really interesting and tricky question, we need to rate the square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, I can easily rate this in like 5 seconds, I can easily take my telephone and I can easily rate this in my calculator, but what about when you have the question in your exam, for example you have this type of question in your exam, you don't allow to use your calculator, how can we handle this question, okay? So right now I'm going to explain you, if you have your own solution, if you have your, your own assumption, you can also write your solution down into the comment section we will check our answers here in just few minutes just trust me this is very tricky and great practice question for everyone so let's let's start first of all let's call this square root of 2 minus 1 as x okay let's do the thing right now so first of all let's write so let square root of 2 minus 1 equal to equal to our x and basically if this one equal to x so we need to find x to the sixth power okay so x to the 6th power equal to, we need to find this expression. So it will be our answer when we find x, x to the 6th power. Right now, let's let's write this, in, uh, let's simplify this expression a little bit. First of all, let's bring our minus 1 from our left side to right side. As a result, we have square root of 2. Okay, let's write it really like that. So square root of 2 equal to x x plus 1. Okay, basically, we don't prefer to uh, work with x's with variables on the right side, so let's change places. We can easily do this because we have equal sign, so we can easily write it on the left side, so x plus 1 equal to square root of 2. Right now, let's square both sides. Okay, let's square our right and our left side. Okay, so we, as a result, we have x plus 1, we have to the second power on the left side, equal to square root of 2. We need to raise this also on the right side. Right now, this is basic school identity, basic school formula, so right now let's let's raise this to the second power. We have x square plus 2x and plus and plus 1. Really great. Which is equal to square root of 2 to the second power. This is equal to equal to 2. Right now we don't need to solve this. We don't need to solve this quadratic equation. I want to show you a really great trick. So first of all, let's bring our constant from right side to left side. As a result, we have x square plus 2x and we have right here minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0 and final tricky move right here from here let's express our x square okay let's do the thing right now so as a result we have x square equal to 1 minus 2x okay we have 1 minus 2x and this is extremely important expression for us first of all this expression will help us to reduce a power so we can express a second power in the perspective of a first power it helps us a lot in the future so right now this is extremely important expression and secondly we need to find x to the sixth power but we know about x to the second power so somehow we can easily raise this to the second power to the second power and we can easily getting closer and closer to this x to the sixth power so first of all let's find for example x to the fourth power let's do the thing right now first of all let's raise both sides to the second power so this is our first step it was our first part and right now the second part let's raise both sides to the second power so we have x to the second power we raise this to the second power and don't forget about right side we also have a parenthesis on the right side 1 minus 2x we raise we raise to the second power. Really great. Right now, x to the second power to the second power, according to a power rules, equal to x to the fourth power, which is equal to, right now, let's raise these to the second power. As a result, we have 1 minus 2 times 1 times 2x, and we have plus 2x. We need to raise these to the second power. Let's solve this step by step, according to school identity. From here, we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 2 times 1 times 2x, we have minus 4x and plus 4x square. But don't forget about this. But x square is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 2x. From here, don't forget about this. This is extremely important expression. As I told before, this is extremely important expression for us. So instead of this x square, let's plug in this 1 minus 2x. We can easily do this because we have equal sign. Let's do the thing right now. From here we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x plus 4 times x square. x square equal to 1 minus 2x. 1 minus minus 2x. Right now let's simplify this a little bit. As a result we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x plus 4 and minus minus 8x. As a result, x to the fourth power from here, let's group our constant, so 1 plus 4 equal to 5, and minus 4x minus 8x, we have minus 
minus 12x. Okay, so x to the fourth power equal to 5 minus minus 12x, which is which is really great. And just keep in mind that we need to find our x to the sixth power. So how can we combine, how can we group this information that we already know? We know about x squared, we know about x to the fourth power. If we raise this x to the fourth power once more to the second power, we will have like x to the eighth power. We don't need it. We need only x x to the sixth power we need to we need to find okay and right now let's look closely what do we know x to the fourth power and x to the second power when we multiply this expression by each other we will have x to the sixth power yeah then on the uh, let's split it let's write it as a third part okay this is our third part so right now x to the second power times x to the fourth power according to a power rule this is equal to x to the sixth power. We have same base but different power. When we have multiplication, we need to add our power. So this is our x to the sixth power. So this is the, our answer. It looks like that, yeah? But don't forget about right side because we need to multiply it by um, our parentheses. x second, x to the second power, 1 minus 2x, 1 minus 2x. And x to the fourth power, 5 minus 12x. Basic algebra, algebra question. We need to multiply parentheses by each, by each other. So on the left side we have x to the sixth power as I told before and on the right side we have uh, we have our multiplication multiplication trick we have 5 minus 12x minus 10x and plus 24x x square. Right now minus 12x and minus 10x we can easily write it as minus 22x so as a result x to the sixth power equal to 5 minus 22x and plus 24x squared. But keep in mind, I right now I'm going to write an um, expression that I told that this is extremely important for us, but x squared equal to 1 minus 2x. So as you can see, we use this expression twice in this question. First of, first of all, right here, and secondly, right here. So x squared, x to the second power equal to 1 minus, minus 2x. Right now, let's plug in. Instead of this x squared, let's plug in 1 minus 2x. Let's do the thing. We have x to the sixth power equal to 5 minus 22x plus 24 and times x squared 1 minus minus 2x. Simplify this a little bit. We have x to the sixth power equal to 5 minus 22x and plus 24 and minus plus 24 and minus 48, 48x. So x to the sixth power. So it looks like our answer equal to equal to we have right here 29 minus 70x minus 70x this is our x to the sixth power and a lot of students ask me okay mister but you told that uh, this is our answer we need to find x to the sixth power this is our answer but then i tell them okay just keep in mind that square root of 2 minus 1 equal to x and right now we're going to plug in square root of 2 minus 1 instead of this instead of this x because square root of 2 minus 1 equal to x. This is expression from the beginning, okay? From the beginning we wrote this expression. So right now, square root of 2 minus 1 equal to x, so as a result we will have like x to the 6th power, but x equal to square root of 2 minus 1, so square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power, our answer equal to 29 minus 70 times square root of 2 minus, times square root of 2 minus 1, which is equal to, we have 29 minus 70 square root of 2 and I guess plus 70 we have yeah we have plus 70 and our answer our final answer looks like that we have right here our answer this is equal to 99 minus 70 square root of 2 these are 70 yeah we have 70 square root of 70 square root of 2 and uh, after finding this answer I was wondering about about uh, this uh, value square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power and then I take my calculator and uh, let's write it as a proof right here okay our proof and I was checking about I was wondering about this square root of 2 minus 1 when I plug in this in my calculator to the 6th power okay we have 0 0.00 50 and 6 and I say, okay, we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power equal to this expression. But I was wondering about right side, so about this expression. 99 minus 70 times square root of 2. So this is equal to 99 minus 70 square root of 2. When I multiply it, I was again, extremely shocked because we will have like a really great expression for us. We have 98.99, 49. 49 and I guess we have fourth or something like that and when we subtract it we have a brilliant expression for us we have 0 0.0050 50 
50 and 6 and on the right side we have absolutely the same expression 0 0.00 50 50 and 6 so it implies that our answer is absolutely absolutely correct if you're talking about if you're talking about your exam this is absolutely enough for you this is like for 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 those who like don't trust me who who may be confused about this answer they say that we have 99 times uh, se minus 70 squared of 2 this is like a, a huge values how can we how this can be equal to this one so this is a little a little a little proof so i hope you enjoy it and i hope you understand why square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power equal to 99 minus 70 square root of 2. So let's write our final answer really here. Let's split it part. Let's split this part. So our answer, our answer to this question, square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power equal to 99 minus 70 square root of 2. And uh, this is our proof. Yeah, we, this, uh, this rating equal to 0 0.005056. And on the right side we have absolutely the same thing. Maybe like um, we're talking about approximately answer. We will right here we'll have like a lot of a lot of these values. So this is absolutely enough for us. Uh, answer is absolutely great. And we have on the uh, if you're talking about approximately answer, maybe someone interested in this. If you read this expression on your on your calculator, we have 0 0.005050. And six if you're talking about the approximate answer but this answer is extremely important on your on your exam because you don't allow to use your to use your calculator so this is answer on your exam really interesting question i hope you enjoy it i hope you understand my explanation i hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong uh, this question is really great for practicing like power rules for practicing like basic algebra skills we are talking about multiplication parentheses by parentheses raising to the second power so the main trick right here is to understand the idea how can we find how can we raise this to the sixth power and the next step you need to know a little bit about algebra you need to know a little bit about algebra tricks so i hope you i hope every know about it maybe a lot of teachers watching my channel so this is a great question for your for your students i would say like relaxing question but the main thing is idea when your student know an idea everything is as possible thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your like i hope you enjoyed this video on my channel i have this uh, the, uh, absolutely the same maybe a video but we are talking about eight power so we are talking about square root of 2 minus 1 to the 8th power I guess and I hope I think I solved to the 10th power and to the 12th power so it, it's I have this type of videos on my youtube channel so you can easily you can easily you can easily check this type of solution if you want to practice you can easily solve it and you can easily check it on my youtube channel I have two types of video thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your likes see you in the next videos and have a great day